Challenge Azure video, my name's Ed. And in this video, we're looking at part three of 18, where we'll be joining our Exchange 2013 server to the domain that we have in Azure. In part two, we basically created our domain controller um, and the domain is tlab.local, um, which is just obviously for testing purposes. And this video, we're now gonna take this machine that you can see on screen and we're gonna join it to the domain. But the first thing I wanted to bring to your attention is in order for that to work, you need to be able to um, see your DNS of your DC. So in Azure, if you go to the actual Ethernet and you look at the TCP IP properties, these values here are assigned by DHCP, but then your DNS is, is the public IP. Now, obviously, if it's a public IP, it's never going to see the internal um, server. So what I did is I gave it a static IP, which is five, which it was assigned as a DHCP, and then I pointed it to dot four for DNS, which is my um, 2016 domain controller, which we created in the previous video. So now that that's done, just that you're aware of it, we can basically head over to our system. You can see I've already changed the name. And if we enter in tlab.local now, it should prompt us for credentials, which I'll put in. Um, just type in my password quickly. And we now pretty much have our first exchange server, which is the 2013 server on our TLAB domain. And I'm going to have to reboot now, obviously to apply the changes. Once it reboots and I'll obviously log in with a domain account. Uh, the domain account that I'm using is an enterprise schema and domain admin account, which is needed for obviously installing exchange. And in the next video, I'm going to basically um, show you the prerequisites required for uh, Exchange 2013, which we're going to quickly cover, and then we'll start the installation of Exchange 2013. So that's it for part three. Look forward to having you in part four. Thank you very much for watching.